This video is going to discuss mitral stenosis. There are four valve videos on the channel thus far. Mitral stenosis being a similar video to aortic stenosis, which is a different valve, in that it's a mitral valve that doesn't open well, but the mitral valve is a valve that precedes the aortic valve. Mitral stenosis used to be more common 20 to 50 years ago, because one of the most common causes of mitral stenosis is rheumatic disease, which can happen if people get exposed to strep infections frequently enough in a strep infection affects the mitral valve, which makes it thicker over time. The problem with that is when a valve gets thicker, it's like a doorway. If a door gets thick and the door jam is thicker, that door can't open all the way. Now that more patients get antibiotics, especially when they're children, we don't see mitral stenosis as frequently now as we did before, but it's still common enough that we are, especially in major teaching academic centers, faced with this problem two or three times a week where we have patients that we need to see and decide at what point do we treat it and how do we treat it. The problem with mitral stenosis is it's difficult to get blood from the left atrium to the left ventricle and the mitral valve is the doorway that separates the two chambers. For these patients, we like giving them drugs that slow the heart rate down because the slower the heart rate, the more time blood has to get from the left atrium to the left ventricle. So we'll often give them drugs like beta blockers, which slow the heart rate and allow more time to get the blood through from the left atrium to the left ventricle. The problem with this is it's a mechanical issue and drugs will not fix the mitral valve. So many of these patients eventually get to a point where we need to do something to the valve. If they have no symptoms and the chambers behind the left atrium are actually the lungs, if the pressures in the lungs aren't elevated, then that's something that we just watch and we treat them with medicines and there's no intervention that's necessary. Once we notice that the pressures in the lungs are getting higher, and some people argue that if the atria has stretched out enough and it's caused atrial fibrillation, that's also an indication to fix the mitral valve, although the data for that is less clear than the data that shows that depression in the lungs are high. Under those conditions, it's time to either replace the valve or sometimes what we can do, depending on how thick and how calcified the valve is and the structures around the valve, we can put a balloon into the valve and open up that valve and kind of break the door jam open a little bit so that the valve is more pliable and it opens. And that's what we call a balloon valvulotomy. If the surrounding structures of the valve are markedly thickened or if the valve leaks a lot, then we can't put in a balloon and open the valve because oftentimes either the leaking gets worse or if there's no leaking to start with but the valve and the structures around the valve are very thickened, then when we do put a balloon in, the valve may open, but then it won't close. And then we're dealing with what we call mitral regurgitation, which is in a separate video, but that will be a result of a procedure that we did. So for those patients, we need to replace the mitral valve. Mitral stenosis, we need to follow less frequently with echoes than we do with aortic insufficiency or mitral insufficiency, because once patients develop symptoms and we repair or replace the valve, that essentially opens up the obstruction. It's almost like a drain that gets plugged. Once you open up that plug, the drain empties and it's perfectly fine. So for these people, they don't need echoes necessarily every year unless they have any symptoms that are related to it. And if they have symptoms, then they need to be followed closely because usually at some point in their future, we will do something to either repair or replace the valve. If you have any questions, please reach out anytime. I hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy the afternoon.